Hey guys, great to see you. Hey, just a quick video to let you know where we're at, what we're up to. As you can see, I got the dogs here this evening. We just came back from Rona Plus. And man, I gotta tell you, I love going there. It's a few miles up the road in the north part of our city. And the dogs just, they can't get enough of that place. Walking around, sniffing everything. <laughs> so, that being said, what are we looking at here? Well, we needed a place to store our CNC machine that we ordered. Now we ordered a Shapeoko 5 Pro 4x4 back in February and we're still waiting for it. In fact, I got an email stating that it's going to be another 5-6 to six weeks before we see it. So we have some time, but in between projects I've been working on setting up for that CNC. So this is the table I came up with. Now some of the things that are really important to me is that we ended up with a flat top and one way you can check for a flat top is when you're done you can take your level across three joists and there shouldn't be any flex here. It should be solid, right? And you can do that in both directions. You can do it from this side. Okay, no gaps. All right, so we've got ourselves a really good top. I'm really happy with that. Basically what I did was I took the two by fours, I think these were, and I stripped them with the crown. So with the crown going like this, I put that towards the fence, and then I made, I ripped all my two by fours, even the outside ones, to get a nice flat top. Well, that's what we did with that. The height of this table is gonna be about 32 inches, sorry, 34 inches. And we bought some casters tonight at Rona Plus. Love going there, dogs love going there. And these will bring the table to the 34 inches. The other thing we did, or we are doing right now, is we purchased this foam years ago. It's been sitting in my shop, I swear, probably two, three years. We're gonna use this to dampen the noise of the CNC relic. Okay, so basically my idea with this is I cut this out, it's the same diameter as the table. We'll tack it down, we'll put our three quarter inch plywood on top of this. And then we'll have another layer of foam that'll go on top of the plywood. And again, it, it's gonna, I'm hoping that it will reduce the vibration and the chattering that the CNC machine makes when it's cutting. The other thing we did is we purchased a DeWalt Stealth vacuum cleaner, like a shop vac. And apparently it's 50% less in volume. And again, all this is for, to help with the noise that this machine is going to make while it's cutting the pieces for my Andrac chairs, while it's cutting out little signs and such. I can be working in here and not have to wear earmuffs. Or at the very least, be able to work and think without, you know, the CNC machine screaming, the vacuum cleaner screaming, okay? So yeah, then once that foam is on here, I'm going to surround this whole table with one by six. I'll probably trim it to get it to fit, right? And it's gonna have a one inch lip, so it's gonna come up about an inch above the foam. And the reason I'm doing that is if I set a bit down here, it doesn't fall on the floor. It just falls against the fence, which I built all the way around this table. So I'll let you guys have a look at this once we get a few of these things done. I got to put the rollers on. I got to put the foam on. I got to cut the plywood. When we get to that point, <clears throat> I'll give you guys another look at it. And as you can see, We've got space down below there, so that's 
another project. I'm going to have to get some half inch plywood and get that covered. So yeah, we'll uh, get out of here and give you guys a look at it once we finish. Hey Kyra, what are you doing? Come here. Yeah. Okay guys, we finally finished our router table. It's pretty much complete other than I need to put some shelves underneath. And just to kind of go over what we did, again, we use this pink foam on our first layer down here. Then we did our three quarter inch plywood. Then we did another layer of foam, which is what you see here. And then I surrounded it with this one by six pine. So it doesn't look like a wafer cookie. <laughs> So this basically just kind of trims it out. And uh, I gotta say, I like it. I rounded the edges on the top here. And you're gonna notice, again, this design for this one by six, the reason is not only because we want it to look good, but we want it to be able, let me see if I have something here, to catch any of the bits that we use on this table, right? Let's say I'm changing out a down cut bit for an up cut or whatever, and I lay that there and that thing decides to roll, it's gonna hit the edge here instead of falling onto the cement and chipping the end of your $50 CNC bit, right? And we all know those bits aren't cheap especially if you buy the hardened steel, the carbon steel bits. So that was kind of the idea is to put a lip around it so that if by chance my bit does decide to roll down the hill like Jack and Jill, that edge is going to catch it. And uh, it, you know, over the course of probably a month and a half, I've been thinking about this table, the design I want to do, how tall I want it, and I, I think we pretty much nailed it. So again, 34 inches to this here foam, and it's 64 by 64. And so I have enough room now where there'll be a little bit of space all around the CNC machine, which is four by four. And then later on, we can put some plywood in. You can see here, I'm building the shelf at the bottom with our scrap plywood we had left over from this table. And then I'm gonna put some plywood on the sides here. And then that's where our modules will go, is right on the side. So I'm gonna put a module in the back there. We also ordered the VFD, the VFD spindle. So that's an upgrade for this CNC router and it has its own module, right? So I'm gonna slip both modules back here somewhere. So that's kind of like the next part of this table is to be able to get the, uh, the electrical figured out. I wanna have a couple boxes back here, wire it so that I just have one plug in. And then that way, then it just makes it easier. I just roll this thing out, I plug it in, and it'll just be plug and play, right? So yeah, Kyra's impressed with it. Hey, what are you doing? You lose your ball? Here, let me see if we can get that for you. Where's your ball? You see your ball? Oh, it's way back there. All right, well, let's move her back there, see if you can get it. You get it? There it is, okay? There you go, good girl. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, let us know. Now that this table's ready, I feel a lot better about life because when I'm working on these spring projects, I'm thinking about this, and this table haunted me. I'd go to bed at night thinking about it. Like, I gotta get this table together. So when the machine comes, we have a place for it. So now that it's built, we're ready. And when the machine gets here, we can assemble it put it together and progress is going to be slow with this machine but I'm eager and interested in working with it and seeing what we can make of it 
here at Patio Benders. Take care, guys. Thanks again for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We'll catch you a little later. Take care and ciao for now.